This is the... This is the... Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Fainer. And I'm Peas. We're your product reviews where we try shit so you don't have to buy shit. And today we're going back to our roots once again. This is the... This is the... Gibson. Gibson. L6 S Deluxe. Deluxe. This is a 1977 guitar. We've got a little bit of a vintage, unique uh, guitar here. So hopefully you guys like it. We're going to give you a little rundown here. Give yep. you a little jam at the end because we have been practicing unlike our <laughs> other videos our from other the videos. summer. <laughs> our other videos were we, so like, oh, so you want to jam? Sure, I have no idea what we're doing. No, no. No. We would never, never do that. We always <laughs> plan ahead. We always <laughs> practice and warm up ahead of time. So, mm -hmm. so this is pretty cool, guys. Um, so this is... This is like a um, like a, a Les Paul and a uh, SG, like all at the same time, because uh, a Les Paul you got like yeah, the, it kind of is, isn't it? Yeah, uh, LTD and ESP copied this design. Um, uh, the whole the, the SG like point like the double horn thing, you know that, you know if you imagine this is on this side as well, you've got your uh, SG design. Uh, that Angus Young uses, which we were just jamming to. We were just jamming. We were jamming a highway to hell if you want blood. Yeah. Good song. Yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> um, so you got your single cut. Obviously not a double cut like the SG. So you got a little bit more meat here to get down into these areas. But still a really, really nice sounding guitar. And there's a lot that kind of goes into the whole yeah. thing. We have the specifications for it, just so you guys... There's a couple, you know, uh, so. a couple things that I think are really cool about it. It's all maple body. It's it's thinner too and it's also it's contoured mm -hmm. so turn, turn, yeah so turn we're gonna turn it so it's really really thin it's thinner than a les paul it's contoured which uh les pauls i don't believe les pauls are contoured no i don't think so they're straight back and this yeah. is actually called a chamfer this is yeah. this 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 was uh uh trademarked by uh stratocasters actually because when it leans up against your body if you imagine this is your belly it kind of just adjusts right to it so it feels really like a prosthetic device it kind of just it nestles right in there and like in your pack it feels good yeah so it's really comfortable to play it's nice you've got um i mean uh strings through the body here as you yep. can see double humbuckers all maple including the neck but it does have a rosewood fretboard mm -hmm. um something that's really cool 24 frets so you've got two full scales here that's pretty sweet. Yeah, twenty four frets is wild. It's it's pretty cool. There's some pretty cool notes up here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it kind of throws you for a loop when you're kind of jamming with something like this for the first time because you like you're used to that twenty one, twenty two fret limit, or sometimes even twenty. And then you go, oh well, there's like three or four more frets that I can go. Holy smokes! Uh, there's some really yeah. cool. Yeah, you can really get up there. So. Really cool notes. It's got okay. So we've got the two humbuckers. It's got a three way selector. So you go. Um, you've got neck, both, and then bridge. Yep. Um, this one in particular, something is up with the um, with this particular humbucker here. Other than that, this thing is like immaculate. It it's doesn't look cool. like it was played. It looked like it looks like it was played, but it's well taken care of. Yep. I mean, there's no there's no wear in the frets up here. You know, like on most guitars, yeah. you get the from the thin strings vibrating. It just wears those down. There's really none of that. Yeah. You've got your volume and tone. Um, it's got what 24, uh, 24 and three quarters is the scale length, which mm -hmm. is a little bit shorter than uh, than like a Strat. So you've got a little bit shorter. It's the same scale length as like a Les Paul. Um, now, <clears throat> I think yeah. that, I mean, I think that's about it. It's pretty. It's a pretty straightforward design. It's mm -hmm. really like stripped down. Yeah, it is. And um, uh, I I think it's really cool. I, I like it. I, I yeah. you know and you know and I always joke around and I'm like oh I, I hate Gibson and all this stuff you know I'm strictly a Fender guy and all this 
you know, but every guitar teach their own. They have their own sound. And uh, this one um, is really cool because uh, it's really like throw aroundable, which is, which I can understand why Angus Young was like doing like the windmill on the ground because I mean, this thing, you can like toss it. Like it's, it's like a paper weight. It's not heavy at all. Yeah. Um, a Stratocaster, I think, weighs what, like eight pounds or something. Like it's, it's kind of a heavy guitar. This, yeah. this is not. And uh, the, the one thing you are lacking a little bit, um, if, if you're a big fan of the tremolo, this does not have a synchronized tremolo. Uh, so you don't get your whammy bar, you know, like you'd find in a Fender Stratocaster or like a Bigsby uh, or something like on a, a, a Gretsch with a setup with a Bigsby. Mm -hmm. But um, you won't get that with this because it's it's just hardwired right into the back, and then there's your bridge. Yep. Just to uh, change. That's out cool. I've got your plate here, so you can get access to all of your electronics there. Exactly. So um, if you want to change everything up, so yeah. Uh, the it's a set in neck as well. It's not bolted on. Um, Stratocasters are bolted on. Uh, this is something that Gibson actually did for a while during the the, the race for the the solid body electric guitar. Um, uh, Fender bolted on their necks because they wanted it to be interchangeable, uh, you know, fixable, kind of like a car. Les Paul created the gold top back in, I think it was 1952 or three or four or something, and they glued in their necks so that Fender didn't know what they did. So they thought it was all one piece. So they glued, oh. yeah, so they glued in their necks. So that's what a set in neck means. Um, so this is really cool. I, I, I like all these like interesting guitars that we kind of bring to the channel. This is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, so it's neat. I, I like the rosewood. It's thick rosewood, and I can't tell, but it looks like the the frets have been polished because they're not like they're not really high. They're just sort of like raised, just right, you know. Yeah, just like in there, like they, like, yeah, like they're a part of the uh, yeah. neck. Something else so. I thought was really cool is it's um it's got a a, a smaller nut width. So if you compare this to, well, here's a good example, like an acoustic, of course, most acoustics are going to have a wider mm -hmm. nut width than, and we'll show you in some close-ups here, yeah. than, uh, than electrics. But this is a very thin, it's almost kind of throws you at first because it's so tight to get your fingers in there. Even for like yeah. a G, you're kind of like, whoa. Yeah, right. It's did kinda, you think that when you like? Yeah. Did you notice that? No, I did. I did. It's kind of like like when you like drive somebody's car for the first time. You're like, whoa, this steering wheel is like really thick. Like you just kind of. It's something you don't really think about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're no, like, whoa, a, man. Yeah, that's so, a that's a good point. So yeah, it's something that uh, I think you know creates a little bit more playability in some cases, in some cases not. But you know, it's different. It's cool. I so like it. yeah, apparently this was based off of the L5, which was a, a popular jazz guitar. Um, and um, I forget the guy's name, but he basically took this and kind of created its own. It wasn't super popular, and it's still not really that popular. But mm -hmm. um, they didn't make a ton of them, so it's not like they're uh, like really easy to get your hands on. But there are a, a bunch, you know. There's some out there, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen one. I, I honestly didn't know what it was. My buddy sent me a picture. He's like, "Hey, you wanna you wanna check this one out? You wanna do a quick review of this?" And right. I was like. Yeah, but what is it? I mean, <laughs> I can tell it's a Gibson because it says it right there, yeah. but I have no idea what model it is. So. Yeah, if you were to show me from this part down and just head on, I would think it was like an LTD or an ESP. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like upon further inspection, you see how thin it is. It's like, oh, wow, that looks like kind of like a Gibson SG, Yeah. you know, from this part on. And then it's like, okay, from this part on, it looks like a Les Paul. And then you're like, wow, that's kind of like its own thing it's like this yeah yeah so there's one there's like one hybrid <laughs> there's a couple different models this is the l6s deluxe there's another model that is the l6s custom that has a six-way they call it a chicken head changer because it's got the little <laughs> point head. it's got the little pointer on there yeah six-way adjustment between all of the um between i don't even know how you do that how do you get six adjustments between two <laughs> I know, right? pickups i imagine the power is just adjusted across it's, the yeah. well it adjusts the phase and then your pit i don't know it's yeah. crazy i was reading up on it i'm like i'm not even gonna write that down because that is just crazy <laughs> but i guess that, that one's obviously a little bit more collectible because you can get a lot more tones out of it but yeah, yeah um, that makes sense this is pretty neat this is a pretty neat guitar i, I really like it it's really yeah. comfortable to play simplicity and it's yeah so it's, mm -hmm her three-tone switch so yeah yeah it's so you know what should we uh should we give it a whale i think let's give it a whale let's uh so yeah so we're gonna give you guys a little bit of sound um out of this thing 
<clears throat> and uh, me and Pease had a jam put together. Uh, but before we do that, I guess we'll uh, we'll just kind of give him a little noodling. Just give him a little noodling. So um, this guitar in particular does have a little bit of string slip. So I apologize if it kind of falls out of tune halfway in between. But yeah, we're not, we're not sure how old the strings are, but they look pretty old. Yeah. So this would be uh, this would be like your uh, your neck position right there. It sounds really really warm. I like it actually. It sounds full, it sounds like an acoustic plugged in or something, so. So we got that, and then uh, let's go to the middle, middle position. Ooh, that gets a little, that gets a little bright. A little it? rasp in there. Yeah. Let's see if Stevie Ray Vaughan. tuned it myself so that's your middle position uh, here is your uh, neck position so this would be uh, more I guess for lead bridge or what's that or bridge you position neck? you did say neck bridge that's what I meant to say just beer shut up <laughs> shut up no comments <laughs> Sounds like sounds to me. funky, doesn't it? It sounds like kind of like a telly in a way. It does. It it's, actually does, because it's got that twang. It, it's a twang. Yeah, yeah it, it's really got some like country feel to it. Yeah, and that's actually what. But somebody, it's not harsh. It, it's no, not it harsh. isn't. It isn't harsh. Yeah. Which is one of the things that you'll get, like, actually kind of from a Stratocaster sometimes, is it's very, very harsh and tinny. can be, a, yeah. Yeah, it can be a little harsh, but... Uh, single coil, the single larger coils. Uh, scale length. Yeah, yeah but the uh, the Stratocaster one is tilted, so... Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's uh, I'm clean. We're going to show you guys uh, what it's like with uh, the three-tone switch with, like, a little bit of, like, overdrive distortion, just so you can kind of get that sound down. Um, so, I guess... Like you were saying, let's just do some fucking the grand. Let's do some ZZ let's Top. Let's do some ZZ Top. Hit it, bro. So I'll do it in each. I'll do it in neck, middle, and bridge. All right? So... So that was your neck position. All right. So now we are in middle. Ready? Here we go. That sounds a little more like it. So that was middle. Now here is neck position. You get a little more trouble. your neck position so obviously it gets a lot more trebly go figure when it goes from neck to bridge but how trebly does it get and the different tones that are in between it's um, not overly trebly and i think that's kind of you get that with humbuckers yeah and the shorter scale length it's kind mm -hmm. of like right there you know it's yeah. good it's a good like 
It's a good mix. A good mix. It really is. And that's the thing about humbuckers. I mean, I know we go over this shit all the time with all this, but yeah, humbuckers are, are uh, a good mix of uh, taking like you know brighter sounds, um, you know, and mixing them with warmer sounds. Um, obviously, because they're higher up on on the strings. Um, but yeah, but I really like this guitar. And you know, as, as I got to the middle, I think that sounded the best. Uh, you know, in my opinion, as far as like the authenticity of like that tone goes for Lagrange, because he actually well he uses a Telecaster, and also he's been known to use a Gibson Explorer. So Gibson, hey, yeah, hey. yeah. So whoa, so there you go. <laughs> so you know what? Let's uh, let's end this one on a little bit of a jam. Do a little jam. So yeah, let's go for a it. Jam. Uh, Fuck it. How do I do this again? Let's go. Tune. got real <laughs> so yeah so that was your uh your neck your middle and your uh bridge position there um you know just with a little bit of overdrive so yeah. so yeah i know i didn't showcase it much with the clean but whatever um uh, but yeah but i mean you guys get the gist um it's a really cool guitar if you have the chance to get your hands on one go for it man seriously yeah You'll find yourself Check a it job. Out, man it's very you can tell it's very well built yeah solid guitar it's very solid I like it. Yeah. Aside from the string slip on this one that somebody uh, managed to do by restringing it, sounds great. It does sound great. It sounds really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, that, having said that. Having said that, yeah, I'm Fainer. <laughs> <laughs>
And I'm Peace. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We appreciate it so much. Thank you for fucking keeping us going, guys. Have a good one. Later. Later.